In August and September, we witnessed the senseless slaughter of rhino escalating on a daily basis. Poachers are becoming bolder and more ruthless. Feeler, the rhino, hit headlines as a rare survivor of a poaching attempt. Despite being targeted and fired at point blank from a helicopter, she managed to survive the brutal attack. But her story doesn't end there. It is too dangerous for her to remain in her natural habitat. She may have survived the bullets, but she will live out the rest of her life in a zoo. Fila's tragic story has alerted the public to this global epidemic, which has long since passed a crisis point. Within the next 10 years, the population will be gone. As the price for rhino horn products go up, so have the prices on poachers' heads. Massive media drives are bringing international attention to the plight of this species. Public outcry for the protection of rhino is at an all-time peak. The poachers are no longer going to be people who are going to get sort of suspended sentences. There's going to be an outcry. Government and police are working together to crush poaching gangs with new laws being written and enforced. We know that we are dealing with a, with a syndicate. Nature reserves and national parks are upping the game by using technology to protect their animals and catch the killers. The new GPS system that can be fitted in horns and it gives huge hopes. So we're now able to implant a GPS tag into a rhino to see exactly where it is 24 hours a day. Private landowners lacking the resources to employ security guards or make use of this expensive technology are taking matters into their own hands. We've been affected by the poaching as well. We've had one killed and five wounded. They even tried to shoot the calf. It's like seeing your children getting shot. For the last six nights, I've been out every night because there just isn't enough security. And there's no way that this problem is going to go away on its own. Evil is done when good men do nothing. And I'm not a shit going to do nothing. We continue to fight for the survival of this species. <laughs>